Hi, in this example, we will create an example in LabVIEW where we communicate with an OPC server. You will need the following software LabVIEW, an Emetricon OPC simulation server, or you can also use another OPC server if you want to. We will create the following example uh, LabVIEW application number one will write to the OPC server, and then application number two will read the values we write to the OPC server into LabVIEW. First, short uh, introduction to Matricon OPC simulation server. The Matricon simulation server consists of an OPC explorer where you can uh, uh, browse the tags and see the values. So here we browse the tags and then we see the tags in the list. And you can also write values from this explorer like this. Next, how do we use OPC in LabVIEW? Uh, in order to use OPC in LabVIEW, we need to use the data socket palette. Uh, we have the data socket write, which we use to write to the OPC server. And then we have the OPC read, which we use when we want to read values from the OPC server. We also need to, to open a connection to the OPC server for we st start to read or write. And then when we are finished, we need to close the connection. So start with OPC write in LabVIEW. So we start with application number one, where we write values to the OPC server. So here are two examples how to do that. We start using the data socket select URL, which opens a connection to the server together with the data socket open. And then we can use a while loop. And inside the while loop, we read the values to the OPC server. When we are finished pushing the button, we close the connection using the data sockets close. Another example, here we use the URL to the tag directly. In the, this example, we have used the bucket brigade tag, uh, which is a good choice to use. Yeah. So here we have used uh, LabVIEW to write values to the OPC server. You see. Uh, we write the value 22 to the OPC server and we see the same value uh, occur in the OPC server. So let's try this example. We start creating an example. We find the data socket palette in LabVIEW. We find it here under data communication, data socket. And then we have the different functions in the palette. We start using the data socket URL, like this. We need the data socket write. We need the data socket open. And we need the data socket close, like this. And then we connect the data socket URL to the open function, and then we connect the open to write, and then write output to the close. In addition, we need a while loop, so we just find a while loop like this. We also need a stop button, so we go to the front panel create a stop button, like this, go back to the block diagram, connect the button to the while loop, like this. In addition, we need a timer. So we use this simple wait timer, and then create constant, set the value for 1000 millisecond like this. A 
and then you just want to read sorry uh, write a simple value so you just create a numeric control on the phone panel like this set a value let's say five or something connect this one to the data socket right like this the program should be finished so let's run the program something wrong need to set the mode on that data socket open you just right click on it create constant and you set if you should read or write in this case you need to write like this go back to the front panel you can save it then we start the program select the correct OPC server select the correct tag we want to use in this case we use the bucket brigade just select one of the tags here this is this one click OK and the program is running so let's open the Matricon server to see if we are able to write this value to the OPC server Open the OPC Explorer. We connect to the server like this. We add tags. We find the same tag. Simulated items, bucket brigade, and real four. Double click and click OK to open it. And then see, read the value. So let's go back to lab and change the value. Let's change it to 10. We open Matricon once more and see we are able to write the, the value to the OPC server. Next, we want to read values from the OPC server using LabVIEW. So then, we want to create this application number two where we read the values we just wrote to the OPC server from LabVIEW application number one. Here are some examples how to do it. It's almost identical as the previous example, but instead of using uh, write, we use the data socket read. So let's try to create this example. So let's start creating this uh, read example in LabVIEW. We find the data socket palette. We need the same data socket URL function instead of write. We now need a read function. We need the same data socket open and we need the same data socket close. Then we have all the uh, functions we need like this. We wire the data socket URL output to the open then the output of the open function to the read function and then the output from this function to the close function the same here we need a while loop so we just find the while loop in the palette like this you also need a button in order to stop the program you go to the front panel a stop button like this you go back to the block diagram and you wire the stop button to the while loop like this in addition we need the same timing functionality we use the wait function like this and then use the same time 1000 milliseconds just showing the labels
now on the data socket open we need to select the mode in this case we need to select the read mode in this case so now the program should be almost finished but in this case instead of reading we need to write so we go back to the front panel we create a numeric indicator in this case like this we go black go back to the block diagram we wire the numeric indicator on the data socket so the output of the data socket read to the numeric indicator like this and in addition we need to set what kind of data type we want to use so we just create a numeric constant like this and set the type here. So the type should be a numeric value like this and then now we can wire the output to the numeric indicator like this. So let's start the program. We go to the front panel and then we start the program like this. We select the same tag as we used uh, as we did in the last example. Simulated items Bucket Brigade and Reel 4. Click OK. And then we see we read the same value which is in the OPC server. Let's just change the value in the previous example. So we open Labby Write. We start the Labby Write. Select the same tag here. And we change the value to 15, like this. And then we open the read example, like here, and we see the value has been updated. We stop the program. So then we are finished. We have made two applications in LabVIEW. The first application, write data to the OPC server, and then application number two reads the same value from the OPC server. Those two applications are in this example on the same computer, but in real life these two applications are typically on two different computers in a network. Thank you, that's all for today.